happening? What's happening, peeps? What are, what is happening? I think I think you guys pretty much know what we're here for, right? I think if you if you're sitting in chat, if you're watching online, you know exactly what we're down for, right? We're down to clown. <laughs> no, we're not down to clown. We're here for some serious stuff. I got I've got two amazing artists here ripping from Egypt, right? I've got my brother Omar. What's happening, Omar? You're right there. Hi, uh, fine, fine. Thank you. Awesome. And then I've got my brother Calvin yeah. from Kenya. Cal, are you good? Are you feeling you you feeling the, the, the spirit? Are you you in the zone? Yeah, man. I can't wait awesome. to start. Awesome, yeah. man. Awesome. All right, guys. So um everybody, everybody that's watching already knows the process, they know what's going on. We're gonna explain the rules a bit to the peeps that don't know what's going on. All right. So we, we're actually here for VX Art session three. We're here for the third session, and we've obviously gone through two two rounds before, so so we we kind of we kind of in the in the spirit already. So now we're moving on, and we needed we needed to we needed to bring another battle. We needed to obviously rep Kenya, and we needed to rep Egypt, right? So we're gonna we're gonna have a clash. We're gonna have a clash today, guys. I think I I, I I'm, I'm <laughs> expecting some some heated heated sessions tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. Um, so what we do is we, we, you got a 90 second countdown, which I'm going to ask Ravi to just kick off already. Right. Sorry, not a 90 seconds, 90 minutes count. 90 <laughs> minutes countdown. <laughs> this is not a speed session. It's not a speed session. Right. And you guys will have an hour and maybe just give it a little bit extra for you guys to, um, to, to obviously jump in. Um, but obviously, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a you're gonna have a you, you've obviously been briefed on who on on on, on what you need to do, um, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously we're gonna start that clock and you're gonna be you're gonna be in the in the zone and uh, you're gonna be competing, right? We leave it open. We do obviously leave the voting open to the fans because we are an event about the fans, right? Comic on Africa as well as VX Art has obviously joined forces. To bring this to to the people and we obviously make sure that the focus stays on the people yeah all right guys so i just want to chat to you omar and i want to give everybody a bit of a brief intro um just about your backstory and how and why things led here right so i'm going to read your bio to them so you're born in cairo right obviously the, the, it's yes. the capital of egypt yeah um you were born on yes. the 20, on the 24th of September, so we're nearing we're nearing your birthday as well, right? So we're gonna obviously celebrate that during the session. Um, ah, bring, yes. What I what I do find, yeah. find is interesting. You actually graduated graduated from the Faculty of Engineering at the Cairo University, right? Um, with a degree yes. in architecture. So we'll I'm gonna touch on that a bit later because I've gotten I've got some questions because how do obviously architecture and art very very close. But not close enough from my perspective. So I want to know a little okay. bit more about that. But as we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later, yeah? Um, right after okay. graduation, you decided to um, obviously to move into graphic designing. Um, while, while you, uh, you were um, illustrating characters as a hobby, right? You also um, started working at the, me at the media and advertising field, but also decided to leave that. We're going to have a lot to chat about them. I'm, I definitely <laughs> got so many questions for you already. Um, um, and then obviously you got a fresh perspective and a professional, you dived, you, you dove into um, conceptual art. Um, you studied for two years again um, to be a game artist, which is another topic of discussion. Um, and now you're working as a concept <laughs> artist and you're doing personal concept art projects on the side. What in that bio that I just read do fans need to know more about? Um, I, I think what's that's really important about my journey is that the career shift always has been. Uh, I career shifted times uh, to change my life and go into the graphic design. I didn't know anything about concept art. And, and then when I decided to study concept art for the second time, I career shifted and just moved on for the, after working for five years, I think, in the advertising field. So I think what, it, what, what was really uh, interesting about my journey, which is, is still very, very little uh, humble journey, I think is the career shifting uh, 
aspect. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. I think, uh, I think if you, what what I what yes. I love about um what I love about both of you guys as artists is that I think your your journeys are ever ever evolving. I think and it's, yeah um like um it's almost like it's 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 a it's a wheel and I think you you seeing different aspects of stuff. I mean you've got a background. You've both have backgrounds in in something a bit more different to what the norm is. Um. But uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, I've got I definitely have a few questions which we'll chat through once you <laughs> started. Yeah, Calvin, my brother, I'm I'm also, but I'm I'm still yes. I'm still trying to move on into you, right? Um, there's not what I what I love about your story is that there's not actually a lot of um, animators based in Kenya, Nairobi, in in Nairobi, Kenya, right? It's not 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 exactly a place known for animators, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, now coming up. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I think I think it's obviously a building field, and this is yeah. this is the beauty of what we're doing now. That we're obviously giving um, uh, countries like Kenya international exposure because it's it's definitely deserved. Correct. Um, and you you also yeah. a the creative director for Scenari um, Animation Studios. Uh, a yeah. team of st- apparently a team of storytellers as well as communication experts. Experts, how bent? I love this explanation. How <laughs> bent on influencing yeah. the world for good through bringing revolutionary ideas to life? Scenari yeah. works um, with visionaries from all walks of life, including intergovernmental agencies, non-governmental organizations, uh, NGOs. Uh, as well as commercial enterprises, large and small. And then you've also focused uh, focus on the public sector, which is nice and broad span as well. In your spare yeah. time, apparently, you pursue photography <laughs> with a bias on capturing a light and its play on, on landscapes. Wow, man, these, these yeah. explanations are just mind-blowing <laughs> to me. Um, Calvin also loves watching movies, which we're going to touch on. <laughs> listening to music which we're going to touch on and exploring yeah. new spaces so you those are the three things we're going to touch on with you right is the awesome. watching movies, the listening to music and exploring new spaces because i'd love to know what exploring new spaces exactly means and why you want to explore uh-huh. those new spaces and i think there's, there'll be quite a few people that would be interested in that right you also love to inspire the world through cool. words and pictures so not just visually right you want to you you want to you want to explain and, yeah. and, and, and pr- make people process what what's going on with with your, with you, and obviously by comp- contributing yeah. a positive and authentic African experience to the universal library. I love that. I love that you're all about authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Is there is there anything else, Calvin, that perhaps the fans don't really know? I know that was it was pretty descriptive. But is there perhaps anything else that uh, that you could touch on, or or maybe that you want to mention to the to, to the fans out there? Oh, um, Sanare is my middle name, so yeah. it's a oh. play on words. Um, mm-hmm. It means sapphire, like S I R, like the sunite, and then Nare oh, wow. in Sheng means fire. So yeah, that it was coined from my middle name. Oh man, wow! I love, I love it. I love that you've got so much, so much yes. meaning towards it. It's not just a, a random name that you've mashed up because it was this person and your favorite football player and your favorite artist, like something I would do because that's what I would do. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. So we we we're about to start um, the 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 session. Um, we're going to move just to a to a starting uh, to a, to a holding screen. So fans out there, if you are watching. We are going to just divert to a starting screen soon, uh, just so that the artist uh, can have uh, about, I think it's about just under 30 seconds just to prepare. Um, and uh, we'll be back shortly, yeah?
What's up, guys? So we're back. We're back. And we've about, we're about to we're about to give the guys the go ahead. I know they're itching to they're itching to start, right? <laughs> yes. But but the, I must tell you, be, we, on the on the back end, there's so much chat that goes on with the, like the the likes of Robo Robbie and uh, Calvin and Omar that Robbie told Robbie officially told me that he's officially put me in my box. So I'm gonna stay in this box <laughs> right here, right? <laughs> Your art, guys, is over here and over here, right? So you guys are good to go. You guys are good to go. So I'm gonna officially give you the 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 the, the I'm gonna shoot that that starting gun, and you guys can officially start your work, yeah. Um. So what I do want to what I do want to uh, just ask the fans out there that are the the that are live watching, guys, if you have any questions for Omar, any questions for Calvin. Um, please drop them in the chat. If you're having a look at the art, if perhaps you you want to know what wh- wh- why they specifically moving to to one thing or why they why they did this or that, um, they're both obviously open to questions as well. I know um, I know Calvin's itch- itching to to answer some questions as well. He's got he definitely has some answers for you guys. So if you do have questions, please drop them in the comments. Um, everybody is uh, obviously online so, so that we can monitor those and then we'll, we'll definitely get your questions answered um, so I just want to obviously just touch on the fact that um, Omar we did we did mention I'm, I'm gonna pop the first question to you Omar right um, at first we mentioned uh, that you ever you 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 graduated from the Faculty of Engineering in uh, at the Cairo University with your degree in architecture, yeah. Yes. Um, and you can co- obviously you can continue with your work, so don't let me distract uh, you with your work. Um, okay. So uh, what I do want to know is um, how closely related is your perspective of of your artwork now? How closely is that related to your um, to your, your 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 craft now? Uh, I think I think I'm I'm just having a technical and uh, here difficulty like the welcome is <laughs> it's not doing well. I know why. <laughs> it's not working. I don't know why. What? Uh, I, the the my 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 welcome is not working well. I don't know why. There's a lag. I think. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you some time to figure out ah uh, yes that. yes please yes I'll give you some time to figure that out Calvin yes. I'm just gonna move I'm gonna move on to you um cool. while uh, while while we just give um, Omar time to adjust it so Calvin yeah like I mentioned to you earlier I've got plenty of questions for you yeah I just want to, obviously sure. we, we touched on the fact that you um you in, in your spare time you love watching movies right so I want to know yeah Number one, what your first yeah. memory, your first memory of your first movie was, right? Mm-hmm. So you can, I'm talking way back. I'm, I'm talking about your very, very first movie that you can ever remember going to watch. What is, what is that called? Um, it must be crazy. <laughs> I love this one. I think I've watched it over a million times. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, also, what is what is what is your first animated film? Um, that would be that's hard to tell. Tom and Jerry. Although that's not a movie. Like a film. <laughs> well, can't. I'm I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Right. I think yeah. Tom and Jerry is uh, a reference for uh, yeah. definitely a, a memory for. Uh, I love the choice. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> we can we can always um, all just refer to, but yeah. um, the uh, obviously we live in a in in an age where uh, we a lot of us focus on 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 demand TV and stuff. Yeah, what yeah. I do want to know is um, what what is your last what is your very last movie that you watched? I'm talking about uh, either earlier this morning or later this afternoon or possibly last night. What was the last thing that was that was, that you watched? Um, you watched Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yeah. Again. 
No problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. But what I do in my next then then the, the the final question about movies that I want to know is um what is the one movie that you can't wait to watch currently? Oh, um that's that's um Spider-Man um No Way Home. I no Way Home. Wait to watch that. That's awesome. <laughs> I And think all of us are having it there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're all sitting on the edge of our seats waiting for that drop to happen. Um I know that that does happen uh, just before I think it's shortly I think the week before Christmas so we've got a we don't have we don't have too much longer to wait I think the anticipation has built um we have they obviously dropped the trailer recently as well which obviously yeah. sparked a bit of controversy because of without uh, revealing too much because of who will be appearing or yeah. reappearing right Yeah And obviously it's the next phase it's obviously the the next phase of um of the Avengers as well so it's 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 the the home MCU is moving on a bit further and um taking that next step what I do want to mention yeah. to the fans are if you if you have a look in, in if you're on YouTube or if you're on Facebook you'll have a, you'll be able to see that that there's an option to view and vote for your favorite or favorite artwork right so um It's currently 50-50 from um, between Omar and Calvin so it's tight guys it's tight I'm just saying I'm just saying the battle is on and uh we're not we're not just here to play games and to draw and to get out out we actually uh, it's it, this is a battle this is a VX battle it's not just a good chat between between good friends yeah <laughs> um but what I do what uh Calvin what I do want to just refer back to there is um what um what what music do you what music do you often refer to to get in the zone um is this lo-fi music on spotify like uh, yeah. mellow beat yeah. yeah so anything that is not too distracting something rhythmic um and then Yeah so you know so you know like obviously obviously when when we like I, I'm I'm big into sports so I watch a lot of I watch a lot of sports um and what you do what you do note is is obviously when just before the game you always see either a tennis player or a football or a football guy um a football player is obviously like before pre-match they always use these things to get in the zone to get in the hype um to to build some sort of some sort of um some sort of climax that you try and get to right what what happens in an artist's mind Calvin what happens in your mind when you're listening or when you're preparing for to, to do something what happens in your head when you're getting into this um into the space uh, hmm? okay We are experiencing a little bit of technical difficulty uh guys if you are watching we will we are just obviously just correcting oh. it we live we live in a in a challenging age right now we um we obviously uh, these these things do um these things do happen we are working on it in the back end we are correcting it um but yeah uh Calvin I know I know people can still hear you and see you um so just could you just maybe explain to me that uh about what I what I did ask there yeah you need me to repeat the question I'm back what you back off huh? you back you back yeah yeah Sorry about that did, did you manage did you manage to to hear my question there Calvin um yeah you asking what kind of music I listen to in a modern Yeah. What I, what I do want to know is what happens in your mind when you are actually listening to this music. You know like uh, a football player is trying to figure out moves or or a tennis player is trying to go through the rhythm and trying to analyze his opponent or possibly like figure out what um what what is what is the strategy is. But what for an artist? What happens in an artist's mind when you're trying to get into that zone? Um actually I'm just like running through 
things that have happened in the last few hours. As I'm drawing, I'm also thinking about, oh wait, um, there's this thing somebody told me in the morning, what did they mean about that? Or um, I try and listen to what the person is singing about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, it just gets me to like turn off the world and just focus on this small world I've created. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. I love, I, I love that. I think um, a lot of a lot of people obviously have different perspectives and different uh, views of um, of what they process or what they do during that time. Um, uh, and like you mentioned, obviously some low low fi beats obviously does help does help with that. Yeah. 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 Um, we did uh, you you also did mention that uh you love exploring new spaces yeah yeah when when you said that you mean physical spaces are you referring to physical spaces that that uh, you love exploring or is this a mental game as well um say physical spaces like going on hikes traveling oh wow. yeah um yeah but it has been really affected when corona happened yes but if I if I do get the time, um, that is usually like a way to reset like my thinking, my world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my so next question. Enjoy that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You, you touched on on, on uh, the pandemic that we obviously currently we we're currently facing and battling. Um, yeah. But what what kind of um, what kind of space did this pandemic um, bring to you as a as a creator? Um, obviously, a lot of people it, it, it benefited them because it allowed them this moment, these, a lot more time to focus on their craft. And other yeah. people, it obviously hindered them because they weren't able to get into maybe re- doing a bit more research, or they weren't able to get into that creative space with people. How did this pandemic um, exactly uh, affect you as an as a creator? Um, I had to sort of strategize and think about what I would do, like what what I need to focus on. Yeah. Uh, the free time was good enough to um, know what I want to do in the next like five ten years. Yeah. Um, and also for the company to figure out, since most of the clients were um, were marketing clients, we had to now figure out okay, what else can we do other than this. Um, and then also uh, how what the world is going to be like because that was very very scary as well yeah because you, you're used to doing um, things in, a, in um, a certain kind of way and then all of a sudden you have to kind of shift it yeah yeah it was very retrospective for me yeah awesome man awesome I'm going to divert to uh, Omar. Carl, I'm going to leave you to just uh, stay in your space. Omar, can you hear me? Are you yes. back with us? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. Made, we obviously uh, made, we just, made we a just very happy. rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to have you back. I Thank do want to just, before I start uh, asking you and chatting to you, um, Omar, I just want to let you guys know that there is one hour five minutes and 17 seconds remaining so the time is ticking the time is ticking you're you're 10 minutes into your extra your extra few minutes yeah so um so just just to give you an update i will give you an update every 15 minutes or so um, but do please stay stay in your zone yeah uh mm. omar my question to you is that <laughs> first of all the fact that I'm chatting to a guy that literally stays like a stone throw away from the Sphinx, from the pyramids, man. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm blessed to be chatting to you, man. Thank um, you. And hopefully we can touch base soon. But I don't actually want you to come here. I want to come to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good in here, honestly. I love I love everything about Egypt. It's, it's really... Uh, uh, there's much there's so much to do in egypt actually about uh, in, in everything uh yeah i, I think when calvin to, uh, to, uh, the, uh, talked about about traveling i just got in my mind how 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 lucky i am because uh in here you can literally do anything you want actually uh traveling in terms of traveling of course um, uh, there's everything every mm-hmm. kind of tourism that you want yeah Oh, wow, man. 
I love, I love that. I mean, you're definitely selling Egypt to me. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the selling. If we have, if, if you have, if you had more time, I think I would I'd be selling more comfortably. <laughs> 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 Just the fact that I'm drawing while while selling is not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome, awesome. So, and, and we did. We, we mentioned to the fans a bit earlier that um, that the voting is open online. So, guys, if you if you do. Um, if you do like uh, either Calvin or what uh, Omar is currently working on, please, please drop your votes um, in the polls. The, the polls are live, so they are happening on uh, uh, on VX Arts Facebook channel as well as Comic Con Africa's YouTube channel. So please drop your votes in, and also your questions. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I know we've got we've got our mates Awali Comics. They definitely in the in the comments uh, underneath. Um, please drop your questions, man. I know Awali is also Afro pop anime artist. Um, he's uh, obviously creating a lot more amazing stuff from our perspective from our from South Africa right now. But uh, back to you, Omar. Back to you. Right. How I want my first question to you is how has the beauty of um, of Egypt affected how you do what you do? Um, I think I don't think there's a, a very direct direct uh, connection between between both of them. But I think most what, what most made me uh, made me grow, go through art and and grow in this field specifically was was the environment that I was uh, raised and born uh, in. Uh, I was born in a very uh, not 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 much artistic family, but there was much art. In, uh, in my family, my 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 grandfather father was was a, was a, a an engineer as well, but he, he loved drawing, uh, and my other grandfather was was uh, was was a painter as well. So uh, I think I think not, not much of of an Egyptian uh, Egyptian uh, uh, related thing as much as of a culture or or uh, or a family related thing, but. And in most of all, of all aspects, I think I think growing up in Egypt, uh, traveling uh, in in, uh, in deserts and and seeing uh, uh, interesting uh, artifacts and and things like that was really really a, a good inspiration for everything I do. But but that that what that what what I realized when I grew up a little, not not when I'm when I was a kid. Yeah, awesome, awesome. I think there's there's so much more there's so much more to it. I think uh, uh, Egypt is such a beautifully, um, I'm not to say created country, <laughs> but a beautifully um, designed and beautifully viewed country. There's some, I mean, literally with with um, the, the the sand dunes and the desert uh, around the um, the pyramids and the Sphinx, that just keeps it get, getting recreated on a daily basis because of that. obviously of the wind and how the dunes change on a daily basis i think that says so much more to the creative side of it yeah yes. but now what i do wanna what i do wanna know is right you obviously you're not just a, a graphic designer but you're all, also an illustrate uh, you also illustrate characters as an hobby as a hobby right Tell me a bo- Tell me a bit more about where that where that came from. Where did that all start? Uh, as I as I told you in in, in the first uh, introduction, I, uh, I I started as a as an as an as a graphic as a graphic designer actually, and I worked in the in the in the advertising. Mm. I, I I always love love to, to illustrate. So so a graphic yeah. designer, a graphic design, illustration, and concept art. I think they are not uh, as uh, so far from from each other. I think yeah. you, you learn most most of the fundamentals in every aspect of them. So uh, so juggling between them, I think wasn't wasn't the, the problem. Uh, uh, to 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 start as a graphic designer and then going to illustration and then going to concept art. It, it was it wasn't a very hard job to do actually the the, 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 the hard the, the hardest one was just getting into the graphic design because that was the first thing that I had to do mm-hmm. uh, uh, left left the architecture uh, scene and, and everything about it after studying for five years in the, in the, in the architecture school and then decided to to, to career shift that and just start uh, uh, graphic design I, I think so uh, if that's an answer what the, that the question no. is i don't know <laughs> no brilliant brilliant answer brilliant answer thank yes. you thank you for that um 
I know that I think the the like I mentioned earlier the the, the beauty of the, both your, yourself Omar as well as um, as Calvin um, the beauty of what you guys are is that you're so multifaceted it's not just you're not just a um, one specific one specific uh there's not just one specific view or facet to yourself right but there's a lot more to you and there's a lot more of a historical a historical background yeah but what i do what i do when uh what i when i want to ask you is um the you 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 are you, you studied for two years to become a game artist yeah yes how 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 far on is that in terms of um of where the country faces are how, how many other game artists are there in Egypt? Is it something that's very uh, commonly found in Egypt? Uh, you can find a lot of concept artists in general, m- movies or games, I, I think. But but the, the, the problem is in the industry. Uh, we don't have a, a, a mm-hmm. very good uh, game game uh, development or, or I think uh, game publications uh, agencies or, or, or or fields game the game industry as well as as mm. in general so i think the the problem uh in the in, in that scene is all of the concept artists that i know are working in 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 in, in, in most of the i think advertising is mm. is the thing that they are working on because they have plenty of time to do what what they want uh, uh, and actually that's that is the the, the, the commercial part of it uh, I, I, that's mm. what what is selling so there's a plenty uh, plenty of, of of concept artists in Egypt, but I don't think they are working in, in games uh, mm. uh, here in Egypt. They might be working yeah. freelancing with other studios outside Egypt, or maybe with the small studios on on small games on a, a very small scale. I think, yeah. uh, as as far as I know, if if there's anything that's happening and that I don't know, so don't blame yeah. me on that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. My, yes. my one. But one question on on that topic is right. What game would you love to work on? Ah, oh, that's a very interesting question. <laughs> that uh, that would take forever to answer. <laughs> uh, I will start. I will start with the cliche answer: uh, Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft. <laughs> okay, I love I, that. I think, yeah. I think that's the most uh, franchise that I, I I I want to work with uh, in. Think God of War as well. The upcoming uh, game is is would, would be freaking nice. I don't know yeah. if um, if you are talking about studios or or games specifically. Yeah. No, no, no. I was, I was specifically asking about a game, and you've given me the correct answer. The oh, answer okay. that I was actually oh. the answer that I was hoping you'd give me. Uh, yes. But what I what I do want to know is because you you're obviously a big fan of Assassin's Creed. Who is your favorite assassin? Screen character. Uh, okay, I like. Uh, I don't remember the guys from Black Flag name. Connors, I think. It was Edward Connors. Yeah, Edward Edward Kenway. Edward Kenway. Kenway Edward Kenway. Yes. Yes. I think this is this is my most uh, favorite character from uh, from uh, the old the season. I love Altair as well, but not as much as as I love uh, Edwards. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, man. I think, I think you you definitely you you're speaking to the heart of the uh, of the fans out there. Um, our uh, fans, our coming on Africa fans as well. I'm sure as the ex art fans love Assassin's Creed. And I think obviously with um, the drop of Valhalla earlier was obviously big as well. But um, yeah, guys, what I want to do is I'm, I'm obviously to the fans out there. You, you, please continue to vote, man. We love to see we love to see the votes. We love to see the interaction. Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to ask um, I want to ask um, yourself, Calvin. I want to move on to you. I just want to ask you. Tell me, yeah. I want you to explain a bit more about what you're doing to the fans, and as, because obviously, if if fans can view, you can actually see that the two art styles are very very different, um, and it's made they both they both pretty pretty incredible. Um, but what I do want to know is, uh, Calvin, is I want you to just explain to me your your characters, your character design, and obviously the processing behind why uh, why you've chosen it this this way. Um, so what I'm doing currently is I'm doing like a sketch. I've done a couple of iterations of it. So yeah. there's a very loose one where I was just trying to figure out what the pose is going to be. 
Okay. And then I did another one on top where it's like trying to find the forms, um, figure out where the head is going to be, how the hair is going to be. Um, and then the last one is where now um, I'm still refining as I go. And then yeah. it's based on Madame Koi Koi, the character. Yeah. So um, I really like the, I guess, Rose knife and a sword she's holding. So I'm trying to see, figure out if she was in an action pose, like coming towards us, what, how would that look like? Yeah. So um, once I finish this, then I can now get into coloring. Um, yeah, I think I have 15 minutes to get to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very um, exploration kind of a part of the drawing. I don't really know how it's going to look like, but ideas just coming and then um, putting them on paper. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. I think I think it's definitely coming to life as well. And I think um, the viewers are definitely, definitely loving, definitely loving what you're doing. I do want to just give you guys a quick update on what the current scoring system is like. Yeah. Just give me a second. For, from what I can see on the Comic on Africa YouTube channel, yeah. We've got, um, we've got, it's, I think it's always, it's just going to keep fluctuating, man. You guys, you guys need it. You need to win. Uh, you need to win the fans over. You, like I mentioned to you earlier, you've got a battle on your hands. Calvin has yeah. taken the lead on the Comic on Africa YouTube channel. I'm not going to say by how much. I'm not going to say by how much, but I will say that Calvin is currently in the lead on that side. On, on on the on the comic on africa youtube channel yeah but on the on the vx side yeah. i'll let you know just give me a second on the vx art side omar is in the lead so like i mentioned to you guys earlier you need to win the fans over number one and number two, this is a battle, and the, the, there has to be one victor at the end of the battle, at the end of the day, right? Which we yeah. will be announcing. We'll be announcing the winner in about 52 minutes. Tonight is the night where we announce the winner. So, Calvin and Omar, what I'm going to do, uh, I just want to get, um, obviously, I just want to get Omar's perspective of, um, and I want you to explain, Omar, as to why and how you came about uh, your character design, yeah? Uh, okay. Um, I think when I thought about the, the competition from the first place, or the battle from the first place, I think uh, I have a very limited uh, time frame. So uh, I'm a very, very slow uh, painter, as you can see. <laughs> not, not, not as fast as Calvin. So <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty intimidating <laughs> right, right, right now. <laughs> So I think I, 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 I'd gone for the face exploration, which is a very later stage in the character design, but I think it's, it's more uh, related. It's, uh, I, I love it the most when, when, I, de when I design characters. I, I love to explore the face of my character the most. Uh, so I thought, why not escaping to that part uh, and, and go to, to, to the face expression of the character and explaining more about the, the, the details of, of how she would look like with the... With the with, with some face face really life features so uh, I don't think I'm going to, to to draw a full figure as much of a, a, a very um, a, 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 a medium size or a medium shot for the for my character so so that's it I think uh, awesome. Uh. Awesome. <laughs> like I said like I said guys the, it's very tight it's very tight in the, in, in the on the voting side. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you about 15 minutes. I'll touch base it again, just after seven. South African time, just after seven. So that's about 15 minutes from now. I'm going to give you guys a bit of time to just obviously either chat between yourselves now um, on uh, during the chat or just to stay in the zone, man. We're going to play some background music for the fans to hear. Guys, drop your votes. Drop your votes. The polls are live. Uh, with Comic Con Africa and VX Art Session 3 featuring Al Al Omar Gamal as well as Calvin Shani. Guys, the battle the battle is on. Keep your votes live and we will touch base in about 15 minutes, yeah? Cool. All right. Oh. 
Omar. Hey. Um, I'm glad to hear you're an Assassin's assassin Creed fan. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Do you think they depicted Egypt well in Origins? What? I don't think... Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed? Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Uh, yes, it was pretty good uh, actually seeing Egypt in, in that in that game, but I think they didn't grasp the whole picture of Egypt uh, so well. But they they really they really get do the, the uh, did a very good job uh, of uh, at creating Egypt at that stage, and it's really hard job to do it. I think there's no no one uh, tried to do it uh, um, like that before. So I think it was uh, pretty a good picture. Not not. Not as much as the Egyptian fans would uh, would really uh, uh, I don't know anticipate it, but yeah. but it was it was really good to see to see Egypt and in, 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 in the franchise as uh, for, on, on a general perspective. Yeah. Ah. Oh, cool. I really liked it. I haven't finished it though. Um, I'm still playing it.
Just lagged, so I'm gonna restart it. <laughs> I hope you save man. Uh, ah, yes, I saved. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop really helps. Uh, yes. Have, um, the autosave feature before it was just uh, you have to say a prayer. Ah <laughs> uh, uh, yes, you have to, to put it to put control S in front of you just to to remember every time you close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen now. So. I don't know if if it's the same. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you.
You heard it right, guys. You heard it right. That was me <laughs> with some uh, Bon Jovi. I'm sorry that I um, may have uh, deafened some of our fans or viewers. But yep, yeah, you heard right, guys. We're 30 minutes left. In fact, guys, we are 27 minutes and 40 seconds to go. I don't know how you guys are feeling. Mm. Uh, Calvin, I don't know how you're feeling. Omar, you, you're going to have to explain for yourself. Because <laughs> uh, you did mention to us that you you are not always conscious of time. <laughs> so, guys, I want to, uh, to give me a bit of a an update. Where where are we? How how happy are you with what? Uh, we how things are with how things are going? Uh, Calvin, give me an update, man. Um. I'm constantly looking at the time, hoping that I'll be able to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making some really fast decisions on what to focus on and what not to focus on. Yeah. Um, yeah, and discovering new ways um, of, or even who the character is. It's like, so you're trying to understand who the person is. Yeah. So the more you draw them, the more you get to know what they like. Why do they have tattoos on their arms? Why do they like roses? And roses, weapons, such things. Wow. I like yeah. it, man. I like it. I think a lot of people are um, are, are loving your work. Uh, so they're definitely dropping, they're dropping it all in the comments, man. Dropping it all in the comments. I want to see. I wonder if there, are there any questions, guys? Guys, if you're watching, I'm very keen to find out if you've got any questions. And uh, obviously, Omar and Calvin are both definitely uh, open to asking any questions. Um, they are obviously keen to, to, to chat and engage. I know both of them do obviously also offer the option of commissions. So if you do, if you are keen on getting the commission done, or if you're keen on connecting with Calvin or Omar, um, they are also active on social media as well. So um, if you if you if you would definitely like or if you're interested in c connecting with the guys, um, we'll obviously drop the links in the comments. We'll drop them also in the description, and we'll also give them a bit of time, a bit at the end, just to promote and for you to um, give get a bit of a brief as to when and how to chat to them. Yeah, but before before we before I rumble on, Omar. Give me a bit of a, an update, man. I, I see. I, I just saw the, the, the you dropped some you dropped, dropped some uh, some orange in. So give us yes. a bit more info, man. Tell us more. I think I'm a bit comfortable now with the with the face uh, face features. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm trying to do, actually, not not perfect, but I'm trying to save some time doing the the coloring because I think I'm gonna need some time doing that. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm dropping the skin the skin tones right now, trying to uh, to add some some uh, highlights, uh, some interesting parts that I wanna highlight, like the eyes, the the nose, things, uh, the lips as well. Um, yeah. But uh, as Kelvin said, I, I I think it's it's really tough. <laughs> mm. Awesome man! I know I know the competition is very tight, and I know you guys yes. are obviously amazing competitors as well. Um, and I think I think it's gonna come down to a very very close um, a close shave between the two of you, uh, Calvin. I must say I know I mentioned earlier that you were in the lead on uh, coming on Africa's YouTube page. Your lead has been shrunk. I must mention to you. So the pressure is on you. The pressure <laughs> is on you. Um, the fans, like I mentioned, the fans are definitely loving both. Um, both uh, Calvin as well as Omar's work, but alas, the time the time is uh, is, is drawing closer and closer to an end. And um, mm -hmm. obviously, guys, if you are watching, please feel free to to uh, vote for your favorite artwork, man. Uh, you will obviously see if you're watching. Uh, Calvin's artwork is on the left, as well as Omar's artwork is on the right. Whichever one you prefer. Drop that, man. Drop your votes in the comments. It is live on uh, Comic Con Africa's YouTube page as well as Facebook Live on VX Art. All right, we are obviously we are obviously depending on uh, social media a lot. So um, 
the challenge is there. We definitely have a challenge as to um, uh, being disconnected every now and then. So please, if you do have any issues, please just try and re, re, uh, refresh your page. We are going to continue for the next 23 minutes to determine a winner between Egypt and Kenya. Egypt and Kenya, the, 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 the battle's on, guys. The battle's definitely on. But what I want to know from you guys is, right? Calvin, I know, I know you obviously you you are you you big on research, and I know yourself as well, Omar. But what I do want to want to question Calvin, just because uh, chivalry is uh, not dead, but Calvin, what do you love about Omar's work? And you know, obviously, you guys are mates, and you've been you've, you you you've been chatting before. But what, what but what do you like about um, what do you like about uh, uh, Omar's work? Um, the preparation to it, that the 3D um, approach he has to creating concept art, that's, that's really marvelous. Um, yeah. Where he creates the stuff in 3D and then now paint bashes it and adds, adds flair to it on Photoshop or um, a drink software. Yeah. So um, it creates a lot of detail. Yeah. And I'm hoping that as you continue to talk, as you continue to uh, to talk to each other, you can be able to learn from each other as well. It's something I'd really like to know um, how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I think I definitely echo your sentiments there. Um, mm-hmm. And yourself, Omar, I know, Omar, I know you, you, you're very, um, you're very observant as well. And I know, I know you, obviously you, you sussed out your, um, you sussed out your competitor. And I know you done, you done some research this week because you knew you were up against it. With um with Calvin's work, but what do you what what do you like about uh, uh, Calvin's art style? Uh, when I when I first saw uh, Calvin's art on, on Instagram, I, I think when uh, when uh, when VX uh, Comics sent me the the the, the opponent or the the the, 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 the one is whom I'm, I'm going to battle, I think I I looked into the, his Instagram profile and then just said how 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 original is his work is what's really uh, important. And mm. I really loved it. How 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 every detail is running uh, original and and really fresh. You, you don't see. Actually, this is something that I want to talk about. That we all use references to just to create our our artworks, and and it's really. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but if you can steal it well, you you can show it. Yeah, you can show how how you steal or how how you take features or how how you mm. take things. I think Calvin is pretty good at. He, he just. Uh, very good at, at picking references and 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 showing original work is, uh, is is really hard. So 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 he he grasped it so well. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I like you know you guys are. I, I love how um, how you guys obviously promote each other and obviously the competition is there and this is a battle. Um, mm-hmm. But we are definitely we we we're getting close to determining a winner. You guys have nineteen. Um, 19 minutes, 19 minutes to, to uh, obviously give me, give me the, give you your best shot, man. Win the fans over, guys. Yeah. Win the fans <laughs> over. I'm gonna scream right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna be nice to you guys. I'm gonna give you, um, I'm gonna give you what? Right, let's work on, I'm gonna give you 15 more minutes, yeah, 15 more oh, minutes nice. of free, free time. Um, not free time. It's obviously <laughs> um, <laughs> it's precious time. But uh, to finish what you're doing, I'll, we'll, we'll we'll check back in in 15 15 minutes, and then obviously we'll have a bit of a four minute countdown when we get to when when I join you again. So guys, get in the zone, maximize your time. Uh, to all the fans out there that are watching, please don't don't just drop in and say hi. Also, you need a vote. Your vote does count. Your vote matters in determining who wins today's VX versus battle session three between Omar Gamal um, from Egypt as well as Calvin Shani from Kenya. Please, guys, drop your votes in. We're very keen to see who who wins tonight's battle, and we'll see you in about 15 minutes.
All right, guys. All right. We've got officially, we officially have just hold one, two minutes to go. You officially mm-hmm. have two minutes to go, everybody. And I must say, the votes are definitely, definitely showing. They're definitely showing. Omar, Calvin, what are you guys? What are you guys feeling? Are you guys happy? Um, how do you feel about the pressure of the, um, everything that's going in, or going on? Yeah. Is, <laughs> is 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 one hour ever going to be enough to come up with a masterpiece? No, uh, as as I told you, it's really really hard for me. <laughs> yeah. But but I'm I'm trying my best. I swear, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take this. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I must say, guys. The amount of detail in both of your pieces are pro- is probably one of the best, best two pieces we've seen uh, since uh, the start of the X versus. And I mean, what what you both have come up with is two amazing, amazing pieces. So congratulations on that! Congratulations on that! But before I get ahead of myself, before I get ahead of myself, it's officially the last minute. You officially have one minute to go. And when we get to 30 seconds, I'll let you know. And then we'll do a bit of a countdown, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, okay. you're on 30 seconds, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm maybe a bit delayed. I may be a bit delayed. We officially have 20, 20 seconds to go. And when we give you the countdown, when I, when I say pins down, if I can officially say pins down or mice down or Silas is down, so it's eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up, gents. Your time is up. I'm going to ask you to um, just present, if you can maybe go full screen on your artwork there, um, just so that we can all have a good look. So maybe the guys, the fans can give their last votes. Guys, I'm going to leave the, vote, the voting open for a little bit. So if you can, if you, if you want to, if you want to um, get your vote in, if you want to make your preferred artist win, please drop your votes um, on, on on the poll that's uh, that's live right now. Um, and what we'll do is we'll determine the winner by that. I must say, the competition has been amazing today, guys. Um, Calvin, thank you so much for your time. Omar, thank you so much for your time. I know the pressure was on, and I know you guys... Absolutely, absolutely nailed. Absolutely nailed everything. We are just um, just gonna try and bring Omar back into back into chat. Um, like I said, guys, these technical difficulties we obviously do um, run the risk of um, of facing them. But I know the votes are in. I know the votes are in. But firstly, firstly, Calvin, Calvin, how do you feel, Cal? How do you feel about what you've done? What 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 do you? What um what could you have done better? What what um could you have done uh more work on? How do you feel? Um, I feel happy that I've been able to at least got, got to light it. Yeah. I feel like I took a lot of time um sketching and trying to pose, mm-hmm. um but everything kind of worked out at the end. Yeah. Um, in terms of what I could have done better, um maybe posing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in terms of like proportions and stuff, mm-hmm. um, but I feel the energy and um, what I wanted the art to talk to look like has come out like that. So I'm happy with that. Awesome, awesome. I that do like to... how. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I do like how um, how you brought in the into the the rose aspect into the uh, knife slash dagger. Um, I do think uh, it also brings a different element to it. I mean, it, it does bring. <laughs> a lot more life into this on the detail in what you've done is amazing absolutely amazing um omar are you there are you there we just have your mute i just want to have a last yep no worries guys we're just waiting for omar i just want to give him just want to get him to just um give us a bit of a brief as to how he feels about his last bit the last bit of his sorry Are you there, Omar? Are you there? (laughs) It just had a crash. (laughs) My computer crashed at the last 30 seconds. I don't know what to say. (laughs) 
No worries, no worries. Luckily, luckily oh, Mark, my, can, my comp- can you just bring, do you, do you have your work available for us to just show the fans there? Uh, I'm cool. sorry, I'm sorry for that. I'm really no sorry. Worries, no worries, <laughs> no worries, man. We're all good, we're all good. So, guys, so guys, uh, Omar, Omar, just uh, before we go, do you want to just give me a brief um, and uh, just explain if you're happy, how you feel about the work that you presented to the fans in your, in your 60 minutes? Uh... Um, I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm really uh, uh, yeah. As, as I told you, I'm I'm really happy with the, I'm comfortable with the with the face and how it looks. But but I'm not sure about finalizing the the artwork. I I think I yeah. needed uh, some more time. But uh, that's what I have. I also lost some 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 uh, some painting uh, in this crash. So uh, so I won't I won't be uh, really sad about it. <laughs> but okay, awesome. but oh, the over the overall look I think it's fine. I think it's it's really good. So uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not so uh, so devastated about it. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I must I must say I do like the the fact that both of you guys uh, invested a lot in detail. And the fact that the artworks differentiate so much, um, you definitely went for two different uh, aspects and two different views of things. Um, but I must say, the time has come to determine <laughs> and to mention who the winner is. And as voted for, as voted for by the fans, guys, after a, a, a clear, clear 39 votes between the two of you, I can confidently announce that Calvin is tonight's winner with 87% of the votes. And congratulations to you, Calvin. Congratulations, man. <laughs> I think uh, you definitely were definitely were you you were quiet, you were the quiet underdog here. And uh, you definitely you definitely pulled through in the end. So congratulations to you, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> what 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 would you say? What would you say made, uh, made you victorious today? Um, I really hard don't know. Question. Hard, hard question. To <laughs> <ask>. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I, yeah. I just gave it to my all, I guess. Um, yeah. But everybody did, so yeah. it's kind of hard, a hard question to answer. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah man. man, go brag, brag about it. You, you win <laughs> today. <laughs> brag, uh, just go, go brag. I must say, I think... <laughs> I think uh, uh, I think it, it also it, it it just shows the the intensity of this competition is also down to time management and um, I think uh, Calvin you definitely manage your time a little bit better but it uh, congratulations to you Omar commiserations to you but I'm, I'm I mean I'm, I'm still definitely in love with uh, your art style um, you definitely did bring some competition to to the game and uh, unfortunately for you this time uh, Calvin is the winner yes. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for uh, bringing bringing your A game to this. Um, we obviously I just want to let everybody know that you can. Calvin, where can people find you on Instagram? How can they find you? Um, at Sanare. That is S I R N A R E. Yeah. So you get it's yeah. at Sanare S I R N A R E on Instagram. And yourself, yeah. Omar. How can people find you? Yeah. It's Omar Gamel Eddin. So it's O M A R G A M L A L E L L I D N. Yes. So, so. You heard him. You heard yeah. Him. You heard him. <laughs> it's really hard, but right. <laughs> yeah. But if you if you uh, just follow the Comic Con Africa Instagram page, you will find us. We have tagged him in uh, two posts this week. So you can obviously just go back in our history, search our grid, and you can find both of the artists' artwork. Um, but thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you guys again soon. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you as well. It's awesome. Thank you to our our our, our friends at VX Art, um, and we will be bringing you the next VX Art session on the twenty. If, if I'm not mistaken, the next VX Art session will be on the twenty fourth of September, where we'll bring you session four with another set of artist battles. So to everybody, thank you so much, Calvin, for your time. Omar, thank you so much for bringing bringing the life to the game as well. But awesome. And uh, we'll chat to you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.